My name is Mark. Okay. The weed here that I do very seldom, and uh, that helps uh, to heal my injuries from the past. I got hit in the head. Uh, I survived. I got hit again. I survived. Uh, and uh, shoulder, car accident, uh, stuff like that. I shouldn't be here, but I'm surviving. Everything out there that I do on my own, yard work, this, that, you name it, I do it. It makes me feel good, it helps the body, etc. Because they say in the science, in the medical, exercise is the best thing for you. For you. Ride a bike, eat right, exercise, and etc. And keep on going, and keep on going. Don't get your body too tired because what happens, you don't want to get up and work and then your chylovet, uh, your, uh, your cells, they start to drain. you got to feed those cells to keep surviving, to keep it alive. And when it's time for anything to happen, he will let you know. In the meantime, do what you got to do. I can't say, you know, do this and you don't want it. Do this, you don't want it. I can't do it. There is no word can't. There is a word can. Don't say can't. Can't. Try. You'd be surprised what your body can do. And you'd be surprised what your body can do. And I said, I got injuries. They hurt. But I'm still walking. I'm still moving. I'm still bending. They hurt. Oh yeah, got a bad back, bad knee, shoulder, ribs, head, jaw, I'm still here, surviving. What can I do? I like everybody out there in the world, it don't matter what race, what, I do what I gotta do. I say hi to everybody, and uh... They respond high. I work up here at that gas station, save more, etc. And the people like me. They don't want me to leave. Okay. When I was talking about over there earlier about the uh, the R, okay. Then the person that we see in the tree saying thank you, okay, or reaching up to the tree to the ground saying.
I can think of. Right now, there's a white sack underneath the sky, right now, underneath that cloud. I don't know what it is, if it's a plane, jet, star, I don't know, but it's in that one position. I look over here, I don't see nothing in the, in here, over here, I don't see nothing, but I can tell you, tomorrow is going to be a real hot day. I can tell by the sky, the color of the rainbow, it's got brown on the bottom, light blue on the top, and it's got like a, like a purple haze in the sky. I can tell right now it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. I have pins in my knees. I can tell on the weather if it's going to rain, snow, whatever. I have ribs from accident that through my history I could tell my body could pick it up if it's going to be rain, snow, or night. Right now, I have no pressure in front of me. Over another human being, like a spirit, I have nothing. But, right now, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful night. It's going to be nice. Now, see that, that guy that I was talking about, that white guy. I got something to show you. All right. You walk with me. I'll show you. Okay. All right. You got it. See, I got it planned out, right? Now, if you come up where the bike is, look up here in the tree. Come on. There's a tree up there. Up there. Now, if you look at that from that view or closer, it's like a human. It's got the two legs going up. It's got a back, it's got two arms going up, if you look up a little closer, it's got a bump, it looks like a human head. If you really look at it, from my angle, if you come up here and you really look at it, and you examine it from right here, it looks like a human reaching up, reaching up and saying, help, I might get a look. Look up. See it in the tree? Look at it. Really good. Sam, am I right? If you really look at it from your view, am I right? Doesn't it look like a human leaning back? Please help me. It does. Okay, thank you. That's the end of time. Brass? Brass Pineapple Productions. Pineapple Productions. Brass Pineapple. Brass Pineapple Productions. Production. Meatball. Okay, you see this letter here, it looks like an R. Okay, you see the C there, it's straight. There's an R. 
Okay, that person's name starts with an R. I can't say what name, who it is, what it is. It's a spirit. It's here. The tree's over there with that spirit. You looked at it earlier, and that's the way it was, what I said earlier. Now you see there's an R, okay? Now you put those two together in your mind and think about it, and it will tell you a letter R is a name of a guy, whoever, or a girl, a spirit's over there showing you, looking up, saying, hi, God. Everybody's been seeing me on YouTube on, in uh, 2010. Now this is 2011, and I still do my side jobs here and there, work. As you can see, there's a dirt pile right here. I help these people out throwing the dirt in and stuff like that. I keep myself in shape and uh, stuff like that. And there's one person that wanted to say hi to me, so I'm going to say hi to her. Hi, Jackie. I'm still here, you know. So it's like, if you want to respond, you give my buddy over there. I'll call back again. If you want to leave a number, call back or write, I'll write back. In the meantime, right now I have nothing to show you or whatever. See the shovel. This is what I do. I work, throw dirt, I paint, whatever. It keeps me in shape. I ride the bike. I love it. I'm going to keep the bond going until somebody says no more. And they know who that is. Have a good day, folks. I'll catch you guys later. Okay, folks, you see what I said about the dirt pile? You see my shovel? I'm king of the mountain now. I'm up here on the dirt pile. And... Oh, ready! <laughs> All right, guys, king of the dirt pile. my disabilities and etc. I still do what I gotta do. I got ribs, I got shoulders, I got five things in my knees, I got a bad back, but I'm still doing what I'm doing and I can in accidents that injury and then I could in point from point A to point B that's up but for some reason he don't want me to go up. He wants me to stay. And I got certain things that look over me during the night. And uh oh, we got a car. Oh car coming. Okay. I got hit. Here's seven stitches. Guys, back up. What the fuck is going on here? You ask for a cigarette car hole. Okay, you asked for a cigarette. Please, get hit again. Down. One holding my arm. One holding there. One down there. Trying to check what's in my pockets, and I'm pushing them up. Pushing, pushing, pushing. They got up, they go, what the fuck is going on here? This guy ain't staying down. Let's get the fuck out of here. Got up, got on my bike, rode halfway from here maybe to the end of that street. Thing, she came down, blood everywhere, hot pain, blood everywhere, fucking normal like I'm talking now. Go to the hospital and they couldn't figure it out. They couldn't figure it out. And then... Like I said, I could have been there, but I'm here. So many injuries. I'm still here. He don't want me yet, but I got people looking over me. Well, you can see this is the shoe about Springfield. You got all these lighter uh, writing on it and stuff, and uh, certain names on the front of it. Uh, you got the flag there. Uh, I guess this building is 1955. Uh, there's something over there. This was the library. Uh, but right now, the way Springfield is, 
I wouldn't want to live here at all. Nope. Because everything is going downhill. People are struggling. People can't survive. They gave a lot more money for, uh, for themselves to pocket, but don't want to donate to help anybody. They want money, 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 but they don't want to help nobody. They don't. They just want to pocket themselves. That's the way the government is operating. I just want to get out of here, but what can I do? I got to live with, uh, live where I got to live, stay where I got to stay, put up with the bullshit, put up with this, put up with that. What else can you do? Nothing. Um, there's one thing Springfield don't want to do. And these people that got stuck in the tornado, half of the houses they can't pitch, or they got a tear down, people got no place to go, and all these houses that are boarded up, and uh, they're in good shape, why can't they turn around, have those people turn around, have it financed through the bank, through their mortgage if they have one on their house, or the company is going to help them uh, rebuild a house or locate a new house. Why don't they just give those houses to the people that need it? So they can move into new houses in a different area, but it brings the houses back to life. If it needs a little work here and there on the side or on the roof or whatever, the houses that are boarded up, instead of tearing them down, where people walk around and then it's an eyesore. It's worthless. It's worthless. Half of these people that need places to go and they can't move in or they can't fix the house and the government is paying them wherever they're sleeping or staying or whatever. Why don't the bank that owns that house that's boarded up, uh, landlord didn't pay the rent or the mortgage, and it's for 30000 back taxes, why don't they turn around, oh, your house is worth, oh, right now, turn around, take that, put it in that house, as a payment, and finance it to the bank, and pay so much every month, towards whatever the bill is. And then they're happy they got a place instead of staying with relatives or, or if not relatives, friends or got no place and they're on the street. Wake up. Springfield don't want to wake up. They just want to, uh, what do we do? Nothing. That's all I can say right now. These bugs are bothering me. So, have a good night, guys. Bye.
folks. Remember last year I talked about something was going to happen? And you can see it, you can read it in the book, and the cetera. What happened yesterday? We had a tornado come in. The Bloomfield got it. The Ware got it. Where's Springfield got it? Springfield got it bad in the South End. Cars swept over. Uh, Bloomfield, buildings ripped. Telephone poles down. Uh, as far as I know, four people died. 50,000 people uh, hurt in the tornado and everything. And they're saying uh, we're supposed to be getting a, another storm or possibly another tornado coming. That's what they're saying. As you can see, it's right over there. And if you look in the back, look at these clouds. That means there's another storm coming because the leaves, if you look, these are all upside down. That means rain. Right now, everybody should be warm. Am I right? But, cold. Okay, I've got to, now listen. Think. Talk about the Direct Forest Park behind you. Okay, now. Forest Park, all the way over. These all black. And then you look down further, way over there, it's white blue and white cloud. That's no good. Forest Park got hit bad. Tornado, you know, the tree fell. Branches, wires, cars. Like I said, something's going to happen. And it happened. And I feel sorry for the people. But that means something uh, is going to change again. All cars, telephone poles, houses. People have lost the house. A friend of mine up on Maple Street, he lost his house. The whole back end of his house is all caved in. Uh, stuff like that. If you go way around, like I said, Bluefield, where, and up there, you see all the stuff that you're seeing on the news. Tornado. We're not in Kansas anymore. This is Mark reporting in Springfield on a June 2nd, 2011. Peace and good night, folks. Okay, now, I was talking about the tornado and stuff like that. What was going to happen in the future? Last year, I said something was going to happen. Here it is, the tornado. I feel sorry for the people that happened, you know, four people. People are surviving. People are going to rebuild. But in the future, I can't say when, okay? I can't say what year, but it's going to be worse than this one. It's a warning. It's telling the government, wake up. Reality. Help people. Do not use people. Tax this, tax that, raise this, lower this. People can't survive. How we're going to survive when we're having a struggle right now in our state, United States, and et cetera. Besides that, the government wants more money. We can't give them more money. They want to raise this. We can't survive. How we're going to survive on it. Now, the President, Obama, is supposed to come down here in Springfield. I don't know what day, but he's coming down. He's been there. He knows what's going on, how people are surviving, because he's been there. He's going to try to help people. But when he tries to help the government, the politicians, the Democrats, screw you, fuck you, fuck you. They don't want him to help. It's like, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. 
That's what they want. Put them on the street. See if they can survive. I don't think so. Give them a week. Give them a year. They can't survive because they don't have the money. That's how they're going to wake up in reality. Put them on the street. Let them survive. See how they can do it. We're doing it. We're trying. We're surviving. That's all I can say right now. But I believe if you look in the book, read in the Bible, in certain scriptures, certain paragraphs, in the Revelation, and whatever one, it's in there. It tells you what's happening, what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, or basically in certain scriptures, certain letters, certain words, and it's happening. And when it does, I hope everybody, even the government, wakes up. We're already repaired. We know what to do, how to do it, and survive. That's all I can say for right now. Thank you, folks. Maybe I'll come back on it later. Maybe not. Peace. I love you all. Okay, these scientists people, they haven't figured out yet why the world changed. They say global warming. It's not that. Way, way, way back in the olden days, way before everybody else was born, there was uh, wood, uh, volcano. All that got under the ocean, under the water. So you got the lava under the water, under the ocean. The can't melt it. Okay, that turns around, the water's warm. You got over in Alaska or up in north, uh, things are melting, the water's warm. The water's rising. Certain towns are going to go under the water and et cetera. And uh, from there, and then they finally have figured it out. The water's warm, up here is cold. The crater's changing. The world, well, one time that was here, like what, it used to be warm. And this part used to be warm. Now it's turning like this, where they're getting the snow in Florida and certain other places, and we're getting less snow, less snow. And so all the years that go by, 2001, 10, 11, 12, and so forth, on, by the year 2020, we're going to be over here warm, and they're going to have the ice, and the snow, and the cold. Right now, it's supposed to be summer. Where's the summer? It's so windy out here, and it, the trees are blowing. It feels like winter because the crater's changing as the climate changes. And the world changing, and then the leaves, and then things like that. I have pins in this knee, this and this one, a good bad shoulder, ribs, this uh, year is dead when it's normal, it's not ringing, but when I go to bed, it rings, burn, 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 and then when it's cold or it damp, and it's going to do something, this one hurts, this one hurts, I got a bad back, I can still go out and do what I got to do, it don't, it's not going to stop me, and uh, I'm going to keep on going until it's time, in the meantime, I see things, I hear things, uh, when I'm asleep, I can see what's going to happen, and sometimes it does come true, and sometimes it's in between. But in the meantime, I do what I have to do. And like I was saying, in the time, he's showing it in different terms, in different ways, that's God, where things are happening in the world, and if you open the Bible, you read it, in the Bible, it's showing you, in his way, by certain things happening, this is happening, the earth is changing, uh, this is happening, uh, the water's rising, uh, things are not happening, and on top of that, you can turn around and put it in the Bible, and it shows you. Look under certain verses, it tells you. And on top of that, the way the sky's changing and colors, different atmosphere. We never used to get this cold at night. We used to be in the 70s and the 60s. Now it's like in the 40s, 30s, like that almost every other night because the world's changing and the crater's changing. 
in the atmosphere. And that's what I can predict right now. In about another 50 years or another four years, something's going to really happen. And I mean, the government or, if not, money-wise, it's going to change. That's all I can say for right now. It's a little nippy out tonight. Everything out there around the world, okay, roads go forward, streams go forward, water goes forward. Does it stop? No. It keeps flowing. You gotta move, you gotta flow with it. You gotta do what you gotta do with it. Deal with it. Go with it. Or, as a business, you start. Let it grow. Let it flow. The more you go, the more you flow. You keep on going. It, you got to survive one way or another. Eternity, time will tell. Nobody knows. The moon is not coming out, but it's bright back there. And that's a beautiful picture. And it's going to start coming out in a few minutes. I can't say when. I can say five minutes, ten minutes. But, as I said, I got injuries here, 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 and here. I'm still going. I'm still with the flow. I got to survive. I eat what I eat. I do what I got to do. But the moon, as you see, is starting to come out again. And it's going to go back in. When it goes back in, you're going to see the difference. It hides behind that cloud. When it hides behind the cloud, it makes different objects. Okay, thank you. You watch. Watch. There it goes. See? Clouds. Different faces. Different things. If you look. Now it's going to hide. When it says, in the other cloud, that says, good night, folks. Keep going down. Okay. One, two, three, four. There we go. Take it from there. If I was the president right now of the United States, like I was saying earlier, if it came out, is the oil right now in the U.S. right now is here. Instead of shipping it from out of state to here where we have to pay for it, plus raise everything else up, like the gas prices, the tax, this, that, where we don't need it. The people that are working, barely working, barely surviving, to pay this or pay for that, lose half of their property or lose the house or lose a car or can't you can't put food on the table no because the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poor no it should be 50 50 it should be where the rich should have have the rich turn them out and have them stand in somebody's shoes where it uh make them feel where how can i pay for that or how can i pay for that Make them feel, make them feel where I can't survive. You know, things in that sense. The rich shouldn't get that. No, the Democrats, no. The politicians, no. The lawyers, they get more money than we get. The doctors get more money than we get. Uh, it's, it's stuff like that. Uh, it, it, you know, why should the president have a lot of money? You know, I could see that, yeah, because he's got the bills to take care of and stuff, but it should just be equal to equal. It should not be where this town over here uh, is on the poor side, this side, the town over here is really rich and they got every cotton picking thing. That's why there's violence, that's why there's shooting, because nobody can get what they want or how to survive. If that was the person, it should just be equal in that general no more than that and uh, that's what I would do hey, what are you 
you doing, Mark? I'm walking. You're riding. I'm surviving in the heat. Is there anybody else? My body can take so much of the heat and sweat. I'm burning up like a furnace. My body burning up like a furnace. And I'm in a hurry. And I'm used to ride. But people have to take a bike or somebody's property that don't belong to them because they can't make the money to buy it so they steal it from different other people. So anybody out there that has an old bike or a bike they don't want, you look on YouTube, you see it, let my friend know, and he'll give me a bike. Please, I need one. Bad. That's my working money. Tell everybody what happened that day you lost it. I had, that day, at Pin One Market, I go in the store to get a soda. Somebody in the store gets on my bike, takes off. I'm running down Marion Street chasing Running down Marion, down here, chasing the dude on my bike. That hurt. I look for it, but people give it to me out of their out of their kindness because they know I work, do what I gotta do, and then. Take away from you that was given to you, or you worked hard for it, to buy it, and people can't afford to buy it, and they steal it. That that's the lowest you can go. Okay, people, you've seen I don't know how many bikes I had. This one here this is my new one. I like it. Nobody better grab this one if they do. They're gonna wear one of these or uh, whatever. I love it, nice, smooth, quick, I like it. No. And it stops on a dime. And I'm back on it again. So, I love it. But who cares about the mouse? <laughs> okay, fight. It says giant made by Yukon made in Taiwan. But it's got U.S. symbols. This is my new bike, and you can see what it is. See the color? I like it. Thank you. Well, my other bike got stolen. I got this from my friend. But now, I fixed it all up. And uh, it rides nice. And one day, he wanted to ride it. So he rode it. And he came back and I asked him, how you like it? He says, I love it. I says, well. And he goes, I love it. I want it back. I said, too bad, baby. This is my new bike. You've seen the other ones I have, but this is a new one, and I like it so far. And uh, it's my pride and joy, so. This is my new bike, as you can see. It says Free Spirit, nice, maroon, red, everything nice. I like my new bike. This is my new bike. See the name? Roy. Union. It rides like a dream. I can do wheelies on this. I can't do it on my other bike, but I can do wheelies quiet and smooth. I, I had so many bikes taken on me, but this one, 
is my caddy. I still got the blue one, but this one I like better than the blue one. The blue one might be a little faster than this one, but this one's quiet too, like the blue one. I love it. I wash it, I clean it, and I keep it maintained. Nice dog feet. No ball buster. Really? No ball buster on this. Ugh. My nice foot. Uh, ready. Uh, I'm moving. Thank you. This was the bike. Uh, it, it's telling me, okay, it's my friend over there, that that's his logo, this is the color, as you can see, on pineapple production something. He, he knows what I'm saying, but if you understand what it means, watch it on YouTube, you find it. I'm the one that's doing the video. He's giving it this to me as a logo. I don't want people to play with it. I, I work too hard for this. You got that house there, right? But you got this one here all boarded up. And no house around. Nothing. Yeah, I got a flat and I'm riding. That's hard to do. Say something to the camera, Mark. Hi, Gary. What's this, Mark? But he does the best he can. That's all I can say. I do the best I can. My new bike. I don't like doing that. What? What can I do? I gotta get home. That's hard to do. Ride the bike with the flat. He said balance without ruining the rest. That's hard to do. I'm not pushing my body. There. Put some oil in it. I don't want it. Goodbye. Okay. I don't want it up high because that hurts my back more. I said hold the seat. I'm trying to get the... Yes. This... Yes. I'm trying to do this and everybody's getting right on my... 
I was just going to piss off. This is a nut here. Ah. Uh, I'm busy down here. Right there until I say I got it. Then I'll Don't waste you. the film. Don't waste the film. Don't waste the film. Oh, yeah. Nanny. 
No, I got to go on the other side. Mm, let's see if that fits. No, it fits, baby. Come on, you fat chicken thing. Come on, you. No, you're going to be a pain. Hold on. I get the wrench on here. Ready? Which way this thing's going, because each time I go, it's the way it tightens or the way it smoothens. Okay. That's, that's the way it smoothens. Hey, listen, I got the mother. Nah, I finally got the mother. Yeah, it's got to come off. <laughs> I got to get it off. Uh, uh, I get it off. When I get it up, I say, I got it in my hand. And I go, ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, follow. I got it. Righty, lefty, tighty, tighty. Because that's the way this pedal's going. Righty, righty. Lefty, lefty, Lucy. Lefty is Lucy. See? I'm going left. That's supposed to be tight. This is supposed to be loose. So this is left. So it's got to go left. Ready? Okay. Righty is tight. This way is tightening. This way is you're supposed to tighten, but that's Lucy. That goes the opposite. See, I got it in my hand. I put it back down. I got it in the hole. And if you go right, like this, get it in the hole, and you go the opposite, the opposite. That's supposed to be loose. The nut is off. Now I might get a screwdriver and a hammer. Use that. Oh, you fucking cunt. That fucking finger hurts. Tightening a nut. I, I, I don't know if the ratchet is spinning over the... Yeah, I see what's happening. This has got to be a little more tight. Now for the fucking thing. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ah! There goes that sore finger. Trying to fucking tighten the fucking nut, and I don't think the. I think the the the, the pliers are sliding off the the uh <laughs> what's my part? I don't think this thing's turning because I'm sitting here spinning it. Yeah. There! That's a f-
fucking drift. That don't work. So I don't know. So that was a snap. working. Okay. Now, that's working. Now, is it loose? Hold on. Stop it. I fixed it. I'm not kidding. I'm not fucking kidding. Come over here and move that. Go ahead. Move it. Come here. I'm not lying. Okay. It's jingling, baby. Uh, they painted it. 
thing, because that one, they come up here not too often, when they can. And uh, I'm just sitting here right now, enjoying the birds, quiet. I don't hear a train yet, but eventually one will do both, go by. But right now that's just... All right, I had a black bike. Everybody sees it. Now I got this new one. It's called Free Spirit. It rides nice. On top of that, it's a hot day. I'm drinking my Heineken. I love that. Okay, folks. Besides the point, now I put my Heineken down. Now, see my new what? Okay, now, uh, uh, what time is it? It's 3.35. Uh, uh, close mouth. Uh, that's my new watch. Now I know what time it is. Now, I go back on my bike. I wish I could ride it, but not enough room. Go back and get my Heineken and finish. Oh, that was good. Now, put the bottle down. Now, up, oh, come on, kick, stand. Up, oh, making away. Now I'm on. The story might be this. I still have my nice iced tea here. It's not gone yet. Well, this is not done yet. But, right now, you love my cheeses? You can have them. Ah, uh -uh. no thank you. Bye. Well, see, me hungry, and usually I eat Fritos, but they don't have it, so I have to sacrifice, that's my second one, it's my cheeses, so I'm eating that, instead of my Fritos. No, I love this stuff. Oh, I love this Nestle ice tea. Oh, man, that's the best stuff with the limit. Now, I tried the strawberry one, or the cherry, it didn't taste good, but this, with this, oh yeah, it moves right down the stomach. But, what else can I do? Here we go. Up, up. Here we go. Like I said, I love that stuff. There it is. Right there. That's how much I took from there to there. One swallow. Ah. Oh, you stay up there, you stupid fucking Jesus. I don't need a bus to get it. They're mine, not yours, bugs. Okay. Okay, people, these are railroad tracks. You can see people come down here and put their garbage. Look at all those tires. One by my BBB. You know, look here. Beep, 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 beep. A lot of people use this for garbage. It's not a garbage place. It's just an ordinary railroad track. But people want to put their litter. There's nowhere else to put it. What else can I say? Does it look disgusting? People coming up and down on this railroad track when the train, and they see it and it looks like, oh, it's disgusting. I don't like it. Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 As we get closer to the bomb, let's see what it really is.
I don't know, really, see? Found it on this, I don't know what it means. <laughs> ah, stupid bug! Well, I know what I'm doing with it. I'm putting it on my bike, whatever it means, I don't know. We'll find out later. There, new sticker. Okay. Nothing else for me to do. Oh, look at all these onions. You want another onion? Yeah, have an onion. Yeah, have another one. <laughs> People like growing onions. It's a tomato area, but it's got onions? I don't know. Ooh, look at that. It looks like shit. I'm getting out of here. P.U. Stink. Somebody gave me these new Jordans. And they're, they're the ones that pump up. As far as I know, I think they're the pumpers. They're comfortable. I like them. Nobody's getting them. Mm -mm. Oh, I got to pump it up. I think these are the ones that pump it up. There's a button on the side. Here. The black, the red, they got... Oh, I got them dirty already. Oh, well, that's new. Can't keep them clean. There's your one. Here. You got it? Alright, now you want this one or you just or you just hey, need... you get the hell out of here. You get out of here, you furball. I'm here in Dunga Donuts and the gas station here doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, the microwave is open. Now, do not put a moving of foil in there. Because it'll short it out. Now it's ready. Here it goes. Ding, ding. Ready? Now it's done. Open. Shut door. Press button. Ready again. before eating my Fritos. I've been eating them since I was 17. I'm still eating them. I love them. You see another commercial out there that's got me on a sign. Uh, somebody did a sketch of me with the Fritos. I would like to have a commercial or whatever of me with the Fritos to make a a little profit with the Frito company, but right now that's up to them. But and it's up to the public or whatever. But I love it, and I'm going to eat more. Pretty soon I'm going to take my break and have my shake. Oh no! my shake. And I can't put them down. I want to eat the whole bag because I'm not going to. And, all right, you see this? This look on that beauty. You see it? Now, Fritos. And look on that. And you see it? And take your boat from there. Now I'm putting my Fritos away. Bye. Now, get that out. So I can have my Fritos for me. Rolling. All right. Okay, the storm we were supposed to get last night. Everybody else got the hail and everything else. I got a bad back, and uh, it's been aching me for the last three days. Uh, the storm is coming in tonight here. Uh, it's really bad and uh, stuff like that. And a white butterfly just went by, and that's good luck. And this is a nice uh, graffiti over here. Real nice. And this one over here is nice. Uh, we'll push somebody sometime this weekend and do it all over again. 
and uh, I put that, I did them yesterday and I found a 15 karat gold diamond ring. I found it and I sold it. I'm not telling you how much I sold it for. <laughs> That's my the rain is coming tonight. Look at the clouds. The dark the rain. You can feel the moisture in the air. You can feel the wind blowing. The leaves are upside down. The sun's coming this way. Okay. Right about now. Alright, here it is raining, and it's supposed to be summer. What's that snow pile doing out here? Man, I'm getting great, and there's snow. Oh, God. Oh. Number two, out in the rain. They're getting drenched a little bit, a little bit soggy because it's hands are wet. But that's life. Eat them while you can before they get wet. Oh. All right, folks. Oh, it's stop. It's slowing down. <laughs> okay. Fredo, I told you, I'm going to eat them before they it get soggy. Look at that soggy one down there I dropped. Ah, I ain't eating that one. Okay, a guy takes a uh, Coca-Cola. Regular Coca-Cola. You know the uh, candy mito. The mito. We dropped it into the mid uh, into the Coca Cola. What do you think happened? You over here and you shake up a soda, and then and it foams up. That's what it does. You put mintos in the Coca Cola. You shoot up like a rock. I'm not lying, it does. And also, where's my buddy? I got a rabbit out here. So stick there and wait in your pot. And you won't move. Oh no, whoops, there goes the chipmunk. No rabbit. Oh, there he is. Okay, it's all right, keep your grass. Keep your grass. Nobody go to his, oh yeah, you hear me, oh, there you go, oh, there you go, there he is, down there, see him, I mean, I see you, I see you, ha ha, you think you're hiding on me, ha ha, yeah, you stay in the shade, that's it, you see the rabbit, you see the food, yeah, I told you, I got a rabbit out here, 
See, you see him moving and he stopped, didn't he? That's his name. Thumper. I got the mom out here too. talking about the rare color of blood and I'm showing you right here if you can see my fingers and uh, like I said I don't know what it is and I get cuts and whatever and I and they heal quick they really heal ah, this is hot this is cool as light what it's hot but it's not cold out here I gotta get somewhere where it's colder there we go. Ah, that's refreshing. Coors Light. Coors Light. All right, I got the sausage on. It's starting to cook. Now I got the salmon. See? Salmon burgers. Sausage. Starting to rain. Got to cover it before it ruins it. Open up some air. Good man. There we go. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to get this one. Up. Up. I got that one. Up. That one's flipped. Now I'll try to get the next one. It's being stubborn here. Trying to get this stupid thing underneath. Up. That one's flipped. Oh, somebody already flipped that one. Turn the sausage here. That one sausage. Okay, number two sausage. There we go, everything's off. Summertime in the city. All right, I had this drill over here, but that one didn't want to work, so I got this one. This one's working. The food's almost ready, so I got to turn around and it's sure here, you know, I gotta flip it over, maybe check it out again, you know, he flipped it over once, so it's summertime, the living is easy, summertime, and living is easy, and I'm cooking away, it's almost ready, say what, <laughs> say what, royal duck, all right, we got the first rainbow, we got the number two rainbow, that one's gone. Now the second one's starting to fade. Starting to go. It might get brighter, it might fade away. But, as they say, that's supposed to be luck. As the people say, that's luck when you see a rainbow. And that's going to be lucky. I guess tomorrow, or tonight. That's the pen. That's almost ready to go. Just flip over. It's so lucky out. Huh? Now it's hot. Now it's cool. 
Now it's starting to rain. And then look up in the sky, you got the rainbow. All the way down. All different colors. You got the red, you got the blue, you got the yellow, you got the green. And it's going down that way further. Ah. Oh. You got two rainbows. You got one. And you got two. Look at the second one starting. The second one was not all there. Look at the rainbow. You've got two of them. Look at this rose bush, people. You come by and you smell the roses. Mmm, boy, these roses are nice. A dark pink one, a nice one starting to grow. And then you got them like this. And the ladies will love them. Mmm, I wish I had a female right now to hand one. Okay, my friend had just went around taking a picture of that tree. If you really, really look at it, it's a close person to it. It's a dog. The snout is right here. There's the snout. There's the snout. There's one ear, one eye. Perfect. Another eye right up there. The ears right here. One ears over here. It looks like he's got his paw or something stuck up here. Uh, he's formed in a way where looking out. There's two in here. Somehow there's, I think there's two animals in here. There's a one. There's a one. There's two in there and a one. And if you really go over on this side, oh my, that's another animal right here. Oh, uh, it got ruined. On this side, right here, it got ruined. Right here. Looks like a pup. Laying right here. It looks like a pup, but it got ruined. A little puppy right here. There are these animals trying to... This tree has been around here for years. I don't know. A lot of years. Yep. I, I, I'm not kidding. Something's... Something right now is saying it died here and came back up. Like that human over there with that box. Okay, I'm in the graveyard now. People wanted to know what's going on in here. <laughs> well, late at night when I go home and I ride through here, <laughs> I get a goose pumps. If not, I see certain things floating around in the air. <laughs> right now, I, uh, I'm getting a little chilly goosebumps right now from talking. <laughs> and it's not cold out either. <laughs> so, as they say, how you doing? I don't see nothing yet. It's not dark yet, but give it time. You see certain things moving around out there. <laughs> and, whoa, I see something over there, and it's not a street light. And it's a, whoa, here we go, two lights on that car. Whoa, three lights. Whoa, what's going on over there? That's no, oops, that was a car light. Hitting a gravestone over there, shiny. This is a sugar cane. As far as I know, you can use it as a walking stick and you can turn them out and you can boil it and you get the sugar because it's got the sugar or you could just turn them out and eat it like I am 
and you can taste the sugar mint. Yup, you can taste the sugar mint. It's flavor. It's not sour. It's not taste. It don't taste like wood. It just tastes like sugar. And then if you're a sh um, sugar diabetes, and if your sugar is low, you got a sugar stick with you, you can eat one of these. And it ain't going to kill you, and it'll bring your sugar back up to your level. To, your, uh, to a point where you can make it. Because I can taste the sugar like... Mm -mm. It's got the sugar mint. See, whoa, you see that? I just seen that little squirt. Mm -hmm. I just breaking that and I can see this. And um, I think you can make alcohol with it. The volume. Sugar cane.
Alright, you see the other one? This is the new one. Okay, you see what that guy's doing? He's doing this picking with his pick. Okay, then you got this right in here. Okay, now, you remember me? Well, this is an old man. Now, uh, here's the guy with glasses. I got no glasses, but you got the gray hair. Okay, in the background. Now, I have the beer in my hand. No, no. I don't have the cane. What if I had the cane? I would be doing this. Uh, because I can't move. Uh, and I'm having my beer. But, I'm thirsty. I want some more. Okay. Then you walk over here. Thing that looks like uh, music or a harmony or whatever. Uh, I can't make it out, whatever it's supposed to be. Uh, if it's music or whatever, uh, well, there's the name right there. U P S J A O S and Company. And then over here, it's R E M P and two lines with a dot. So I don't know. Uh, who did this, but I guess that's the same, um, same company. You got boys, then you got M, D, with an O, with a certain letter, R there, then you got the T, M, C, uh, and over here, you got this singing baby. Okay. Yeah, you figure it. It's from there. Eating baby. Or jingle. Yep, baby. But, I, I like that one. But, I like myself. Here's me when I'm tired, thirsty. Give me my beer. I like cord. Give me my cord. Now, I'm tired. That's me, folks. But I cannot go home until he says. Ah. See? And there's a piece in the middle. See? The V. That's my glasses, folks. <laughs> Have a good night. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Here, you can see right here, he is cool. He turns around, he makes his design right here. Okay. Got a lot of design and everything. And then this guy over here, he's thinking, you see what it says right here on the wall. Okay. What is so it far, say? that's what he's thinking. Okay. What does he say on the wall? What is he saying? R E A R C is N O L A C R M E period unless you really suck. <laughs> now you got this design over here. That this guy over here, he looks like he's me. He don't like it. He's trying. To turn them out, try to change it. But, unless it's not working, as you can see. Bring it to the trailer, bring it to the trailer. That's new.
respond to the artwork. You see all the new uh, details? They put something new now. Okay, all the, what it says, I don't know. But that one stands out now. That one is real nice. There are R N G K J H F P 2011. Then you got this one. It looks like Mikey, the down letters. This one's different. That one's real bright, stands out. Really nice. And it says R J H F. Same letters over there. But this one's new. DMC. This one's new. J-H-F. R. Over there. But I like this one. I don't know what what letter that is. Or I know an arrow pointing there. And something pointing up there. But the letters, I can't make it out. There's an arrow there. There's a Y. I think it's a, an arrow pointing over there. I don't know. There's, it's a letter or um, music something. I'm not sure of what. But I like it. And besides the point, this is new. Over here, a money thing. You see it? The money. Right here. That's new. Right here. This is. It's not really bright, but it's new. And, uh. <coughs> so. If you like this one, make a comment on it. If not, I don't know what to say, but you know what channel I'm on. Fire up, man! Here we go! Ready? <laughs> ah. All right, guys. Remember the other one that was like this? Painting all the way to the top brand new. Now it was back in the 50s, back in the 70s. Yeah, see that one piece? He got this one. And me dressed up, and he go to this one. And he walk to this one. See that? All brand new. Then you go over. There's the name.
Well, this. Ah. Okay, folks, I'm back on the YouTube program. You've seen me before. You've seen all these, the, the graffiti here before and everything, all different ones. Now, this is a new one. Now, there's a saying on this one, if you can see it. Uh, I don't know what they did that on the top of I, I can't understand that. But this is all brand new, all the way down to the end over there. There's certain things in it, uh, certain letters, certain colors. Now that one looks right here in the middle. If you look at that one, it looks like a face. See, it is the uh, mouth with the green thing in the middle. Uh, the white spot that looks like dog balls. I'm not sure, but uh, that's not usual. Uh, I don't see the person's name who ever signed it. Usually they sign it, but I don't see it. But there's a certain letter up there. Uh, yeah, there's a K-A-N, can. And over here there's another one that says P-I-P, -E, God. And I don't understand what it means, God. Uh, but up here's another couple of uh, letters over here, T N C. And if you look down the bottom, it looks like L T O N. I that's what it says, but you see all different signs, letters, uh, what it means, what it stands for. There's a look like a knife right here. If you look right there, there's a knife. There, there's a handle. There's a uh, uh, letters. Uh, a song. I can't can't make that out. I don't, I'm not sure. But there's a uh, uh, different things on here, so I like the work, but I like the other one before this. Way before this one. This one, I can't make any sales out of it. Peace and night, folks. I'm taking my break for now, and then that's it. Have a good day, folks. Peace. Good. Somebody's name up there. Right up there, him. It's like a S L D F. And it's got one down there. Alright, guys. Well, I see the left side. Now, the sun's going down. I can't stay out too much longer here. So, alright, folks. Good night. Peace. This is not the night thing is. Yeah, but again, everybody. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Ah. I got a knife. I put it away. Walk away. Anybody comes near me, yeah, get it. Ah, ah, ah. They get it. See it? Now you get it. You want this one? Yeah. 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 Everything here, 30 bucks. There you go. <laughs> they they <laughs> <home>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my stick and you got to show back. Yeah, 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 Take my day! You got 
me. I get boom, bang. Oh, where is everybody? <laughs> Got you. Got you. Got you. <laughs> Did I get ya? Oh yo 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 ya! Yo yo yo! Oh yeah, Mr. Lucas. Rolling. I'm talking to you. Obama phone. This is a Obama phone. I like it. You don't have to pay any minutes on it. You can use it all the time. And then when it's time to redo it, it programs itself. And that's another thing I like. It's press one, and you can get. Uh, and if you press one, you get to the White House. Pentagon number two. The Treasury Department number three. Lincoln Memorial number four. Capitol Building number five. The office, number six. Number seven, you can go to heaven. Lincoln's bedroom, number nine. But, if you press zero, you get nothing. Uh. Yep. Oh, my, my phone. was born to be wild. And this is my chopper. All right. Now this is my bike, and I turn around, you can see how wild it is. It looks like a chopper. It looks like a motorcycle. You put a motor in here, and what are you doing? You're doing one of these. What? Why? Born to be wild. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Wow. Down my road. Goodbye, Dad. There you go, Lucky I got two.
the G heater. I don't know if it works. Oh, I love you. There's something else. Oh, cigarette lighter. Here's the fuse. In case it's been popped. And another pump. And it's there. Oh, there's still some in there. Glow. Glow wheels. Mm. I wonder if I spray that on there with that. Hmm. I got some that. There's still some stuff in there. I said it's the phone. Say hi. What did you do? Oh, Okay.